There's katakata in Nollywood, though. I mean, Cheesy, why are you beefing me? No cap, I'm the biggest actor in Africa for now. Africa, don't act like you like me, then talk shit about me behind my back. Hey homie, welcome back to my channel. How you doing? What's it happening? My name is Omi or DK Nwachuku and this is Talk to Your Homie TV, my darling here. I love to give very sweet and juicy gifts and today, hey, oh my, the katakata that is blowing, is blowing in the Nollywood industry or Bibi Nigeria industry. I'm just like, what's happening? We need to just put our mouth in the matter. And then, you know, Lakers like addressing frenemies. You know these people that will come and see their friends, but they are wicked people. You get me? I have just on Lakers. Nina of Bibi Nigeria also has a big review that we have to talk about because some people have strong opinions about Nina's new body. We're going to discuss that, my darling. So be Michael's on the gist today. Omo, just sit tight and relax so that you enjoy this one. Before I start, subscribe to my channel, honey, because I mean now, what's up with you? I give you sweet gist and subscribe now and give this video a thumbs up, please. Thumbs up, help videos go. Just stop and go and like. That's all you can do for me. I love you. You love me. You're gonna like it, yeah? Now let's begin. I want to start with Nina's body. Now Nina, after giving birth to what, her first child, opted to do surgical enhancement for her body. You get me? Because see, she's in the US of A. And you know, she has to look the part. You get? So she's like, almost see, I'm going to go and touch my body and look all sexy and think. Oh the girl carried us literally from when she was thinking about the idea to when she went to the doctor's place to when they did the thing. Even when she was in recovery, like, I'm just like, okay, baby girl and finally she has shown us her body after one month guys check this body out do you guys love it but you know my question with people like this is so when you now give birth to your second child what do you now do you go and do the surgery again then the third child can do the surgery again is that like i, I really would like to know because I'm, I'm thinking like this is now omi or dk's opinion no I'm like you know just wait till you give birth to all your children now then you now do the surgery once and for all that's my opinion but last last after the first child you need to look sexy for your man I, I want it to make sense to me, but if you have another opinion about why it's, it's appropriate to do surgery, even if you just give birth to one child, let me know in the comment section, my darling. But that's not the gist. I find you showed us her body now. That's how an actor, a prominent actor, his name is Ugo. Uh, I, see, I cannot pronounce that name. Let's just go to my phone because, bruh. The name is interesting. Hey, he, but he had like strong opinions against it. And anybody that attacked him, he was attacking them too. So let me read to you exactly what, what he said and you tell me if you agree with him or not. Listen. So his name is actually Ugezu J. Ugezu. You get me? This guy, you should know him. If you watch Nigerian movies, you probably know him. Yeah. He says, knowing fully well that Ifanwa, basically that that thing in Igbo, Ifanwa is not the real thing. Real men will not be attracted. Is it really true that real men are not attracted to enhanced, like surgically enhanced body? I don't think so. All the girls that, that have done their body in court, who's not dating them? Who's married to them? Some are married, even in Nigeria. Because I mean, I would, have, I would have easily said America, but people might say, oh, Africa. In Nigeria. They all have boyfriends now and they're all married now. So what or is it that the people that are marrying them are not the real men? I be or dating them are not the real men. Help me understand this. You get me? That's like someone tried to attack him. He was like, see, listen, presumably you are not in the thought of committing the same blunder. <laughs> Of body enhancement and you are consoling yourself in advance you're talking to this amaka girl in advance with the zukwani k dragons like you say rest now that's what zukwani k means in Igbo, yeah zukwani k as how that body enhancement which the founding doctor in california already advised against and quitted is that true he now says again the zukwani k dragons is actually for all you millions of young ladies with sealed ears who are still planning to do the same for peace of mind identify evil and call it evil one love almost say i don't know man the thing is in nigeria is getting really rampant and so i don't know if we can actually call it evil because it's getting rampant man and I mean, you know what's your own opinion <sighs> I don't condemn it. Don't do it because of peer pressure. Like, oh, maybe nobody likes me. My body's not nice. My body's not. Let me go and do it. Like, don't do it for like peer pressure or everybody has done it. All my friends have done it. Do it because you really want to do it. Yeah. 
and i believe that you know last last is your mentality like if your mindset is right and strong self-confidence and a hair and you now want to do it no problem even if you do your body or you don't do your body if you have an inferior mindset you have an inferior mindset but what's your opinion do you agree with this man is it evil i don't think it's evil but is it really evil or do real men not find surgical enhanced body attractive just put your mouth in the whole matter yeah next gist there's katakata in nollywood do hey see crystal okoye is actually accusing cheesy alichi of asking a producer to send crystal out of a movie set because she did not want them to act together i'm like wait chill like actresses really have that hold over a movie if i haven't put my mouth in the matter let's watch this video hello everyone my name is crystal okoye aka Ukuvenza. so what is happening right about now is that i just made my hair for this village film that i want to shoot and next our almighty goddess cheesy alichi came in and saw me next thing she contacted the person that called her for the job that i will not be on the same set with her i mean cheesy why are you beefing me you're beefing me simply because i did not post your birthday pictures on your birthday this is the same ungrateful human that i left asaba for her marriage her traditional marriage in eboin state i left asaba for eboin state just for this ungrateful human and now you're beefing me because i celebrated you i celebrated your marriage i celebrated you on your birthday her birthday is just two days or three days before mine now on my birthday she did not celebrate me i'm this kind of a person that i don't know how to pick anybody i don't know how to pick anyone now last year she did her birthday i did not post her birthday picture I did not and next thing she did was to unfollow me because i did not post her pictures and she started beefing me we met on a set earlier this year if she had her way she would have she would have she would have told the producer that i will not be on the same set with her but she didn't do that or probably she did that but it didn't work out and now this job that i'm in right now with her and then she told them that I will not be on the same set with her. And guess what? Yeah, I lost the job. It's fine. What I have to say to you is that if your seniors did what you just did today to me, I mean, cheesy, you wouldn't have been where you are. But you did this because you're playing God. But don't worry. Your soup done today, no me say another person, oh no, we're done tomorrow. Nobody reign forever. I just want to thank you for making me to lose the job that i'm supposed to be in all thanks to you cheesy thank you so much for everything but you see me you can do whatever but you cannot stop my shine because you're not my creator i just want to thank you for what you did and the ones you will still do in the front all thanks to you cheesy alici you are not my god you are not and you will never be can you guys just hear the <laughs> senseless i'm gonna call it senseless the senseless cause of this whole fight because of birthday post i be help me marry this thing i don't even understand now see i know that no matter how truthful somebody claims to be the story is not complete until you hear the both parties right the moment i saw this video i went to cheese's page to see like, if she had dropped any video about it and she had not responded like to these allegations yeah but however i want to talk about this one and there are a lot of things the first thing is it's crazy how an actress has a hold over a whole movie production that she can literally tell the person who um, like I'm, I'm not filming with this person and they would chase somebody away that's 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 a lot man like I, I mean bruh you must be sure that this actress is going to sell your movie you must be sure that eve is not this actress nobody else or maybe she did the movie on discount you know for the movie producer there, 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 there must be a lot of things a lot of reasons why she has the right to just say you know what i cannot act with this person right and then again man is this crystal are you really really sure that that's the reason she's beefing you i mean yeah because she said that after cheesy's birthday and she did not post her picture cheesy unfollowed her <sighs> now another angle to it is eh i understand the place of mentorship and looking up to somebody i understand that a lot because i believe that if if maybe like you were if maybe 
while you're growing or you want to enter an industry right and somebody grooms you helps you shows you the way you are kind of loyal to the person right and the moment the person starts to feel like oh but you're not loyal to me anymore the person can do anything no matter what it is it's just it doesn't just make sense and it's unfair and i like how she said that if your seniors did that to you how do you have felt i really would like cheesy to just talk about the matter i really would like it because i mean it makes no sense it's it's ah. Is that what's happening in the movie industry? And I want to know, like, is, is that really how it goes? Crystal, big up to you, Sha, for speaking up. I like that she came and spoke up. I like that she came and made a whole video about it and spoke about it online. You get me? And I hope that people people learn from me. It's like, man, see, eh? No matter how you want to rain and rain and rain, like, you're going to rain and pass. That's the truth. Like, you cannot act movie forever. You're going to rain and pass. And, and when you pass, on that person's own come. So, just have a clear mind but you, I, I can't really put my mouth because i really don't know exactly what happened you know sincerity cheesy hasn't spoken i wasn't there i don't know what happened doing i mean to get me like a lot of you don't you know how girls can be there might be a lot of mess that might have gone down behind the scene and all of a sudden somebody's tired of we can't, can't be a lot of things man but what's your opinion though like have you heard about cheesy before do you know cheesy are you an actress watching me what's your opinion man and crazy how an actress has control like i can imagine when i like when i start making my own movies and one actress is telling me i cannot I'll work with this person ah, I, mean, I mean i'll sit you down and mentor you and tell you man see eh? calm down it's for the greater good I mean, i'm not going to say oh I'll, I'll but you and i would talk about it and we'll understand each other because i mean I wouldn't even want that to be done in my search, but what's your opinion? Please talk about it in the comment section, my darling. Next jit is also, oh, this one is interesting. It will be Michael, oh my guy, you get me? He was recently interviewed though, and they asked him some, some juicy questions, and he had interesting opinions, yeah, to say, honey. The first question was, is he the best actor in Nigeria? The second question is, is he the richest actor in Nigeria? Even me, I'm looking like, ah, ah, all these questions safe. The interviewer wants to just create beef. It's, this, this is a beef creating question. Like, you said, how far? But you know what? I want you and I to watch the, you know, interview together. Yeah, and we're going to put our mouth because... Are we sure? Are we not sure? Let's find out. <laughs> this one, Choco. <laughs> Which actor do I think is bigger than me now? No cap, I'm the biggest actor in Africa for now. Africa. To God be the glory, yeah. Amen. I don't think anyone is bigger than me for now. Yes. No pride. No pride, no cap. Zubi is the biggest actor in Africa for now. He shook. Double choke. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> no, with you, like, I mean, I mean, Zubi is big. You know, I, in fact, I think it was Linda Osifo that on, in an interview made me understand that there's actually two different industries in Nollywood. That Nollywood is actually really larger than we think, right? That there is the Asaba industry. I mean, I've always known, but it's good to now get it from somebody who's acting, yeah? Asaba industry and there's Lagos industry. Do you get And make a lot of sense. But I love any movie that zubi acts in zubi i think is a good actor and i love and 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 notice he has actually moved from asaba to lagos I'm, I'm guessing he wants to enter into that lagos space which is smart yeah i think it's good is he the best is anybody bigger than him see man if you don't hype yourself who will hype you for you so i understand that he wants to hype himself i mean why would you even ask me is there anybody bigger than me humility might make me call in fact i know if they ask you that kind of question don't call any name Play around the question. Say, I think I'm, I'm the best at my thing. Bruh, say it. I don't think it's pride. I think that is a smart thing to say, obviously, because how are you asking that kind of question? I'll pipe myself now. And really, really, he's good. He's really good. I think any movie that Zuby asks is good. But the second question is where I'm now like, oh, yeah, now I am tired. Let's listen to this one. Do you think you are the richest actor? Oh, yeah. Yes, so. For now, I'm the richest actor because if you watch money while they collect every. I'm not saying this to make their clap for me. The last time I checked, I checked my book, I realized that I've made 102 million from artists lately. From what? 102. Made 102 million from artists lately. Artists lately. Not, not like all my career of recent. As you get where they write. Um, all the things they do with money, where they pay me. 
Yeah, because I don't get 10% of that thing and, and share to people. I know they pay tight, I know they go to church, I know they believe those things. I share it to people. Are you getting me? So I write them. So the last one why I go check people. Horror to me, and that means I have to share 10.2 million. So you see me throwing mm. money, shut up, you don't know what I'm doing. I'm paying my tight in the other way. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's talk about this one. He, he, this video has a lot of things that he said in one video. That he has made 102 million. See, I just, like I need to put my eyes in this Nollywood scene. No, no, no. I, I, I need to I need to come, I need to look at Nollywood industry. I don't look at them enough because I kind of feel like Nollywood has money that we don't understand. And even though when a Nollywood actor or actress buys a car, we just be like, ah no, it cannot be maybe the body girl, a man gave her money there might be money that we don't even know i know to be makes his own movies i know he actually produces his own movies you get me but like 102 million and he actually needed you to understand that it's not even his total it's just a recent you know calculation that he has made brah then is it a richard actor i mean I, I don't know man i i mean i don't know how much they get paid but i mean it's just i just i feel like maybe there's a reason he had to put a figure to it, there has to be a reason because I'm um, what um, would say, like, we didn't even. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like there are obviously better ways if you're trying to be humble. If you're trying to be humble, there are better ways to answer the question without putting any amounts. But then I guess they knew that he was going to talk, and I follow him on Instagram. And bruh, that guy does a lot of movies, and he also has a lot of deals that he signs, like, he has deals that he's signing, like, steady man, yeah. And the fact that he said he doesn't go to church, <laughs> to each his own child. I mean, if you don't, I mean, I understand why you, you might not want to go to church because of, you know, stories that you have heard. But I believe that, I'm telling anybody who might have this mentality, I believe that, I mean, I believe that, you know, if you have the spirit of God in you and you go to a church that you're preaching, that, that, that basically the, that, that the spirit of God is not in, you would know and you would leave. And if you go to a church that the spirit of God is in, you would know and you would stay, right? And the issue of tight men, the fact that he still does 10% and does it to so, like does something with it, I mean, I think that's fine. I mean, just at least it's given, right? But do you think he's the richest actor right now? I don't know. If you know about the Hollywood chat, let me know. But I, I, I'll put my eyes down. I need to look into the Hollywood industry. They must be making some kind of money that we don't know. Uh, 102 million? Where are they see this kind of money from? Oh, we made it for, I mean, I define three, I define, I, literally, I need three million naira for my business. Like, if I get three million naira right now, I'm going to upgrade. Eh? So somebody's getting 102 million. Ah, brother, you get me, but what's your opinion? Do you think, oh, Omi oh, knows that was very proud? You get me? Like, what kind of, like, what kind of talk is that? Ha, 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 ha. Or do you think, you know what, there's a reason why he had to put it? Did it make sense to so put it out there, like, blah? Or was it smart? Please tell me in the comment section, my darling. Let's end this one with Leko and what he had to say. Frenemies, listen. Leko has come to clear the air. Like, y'all thinking you guys can fool me. You can't fool me. And by the way, you know, I, in my last video, I told you that Tony Badge and that her boyfriend review. I do not even buy it. I didn't buy it at all because I'm just like, there are a lot of loopholes. I'm just like, ah. and then guess what? This morning, what did I see? It was a comedy. You get me? They actually shot the comedy together and Tony Badge was part of like she, she like she featured in the comedy. I'm like, really? All this um, Instagram skits, yeah? That's really what it was. I'm just like, oh man. See, so, yeah, at this point in time, whenever we see, no matter how we see comedians post popular faces, let's not carry, I'm talking to bloggers, just forget it, it's a skit. That's how it was Nengi. Nengi and who did that thing? I forgot saying, oh my god, I think it's a Sydney talker. Yeah, he, that one even did ring, held her hand. It was still a skit. Now, this one is still a skit. And they're smart. I mean, what better way to announce your upcoming project than to pull it stunt for us and make the whole world assume this? And then, yeah, so social media. Okay, be smart, oh. These people are here selling narratives to you, man. Don't go and kill yourself looking at someone's life. Just take it with a pinch of salt and come here. Tag me, talk to your homie, see this matter, what do you think? Let's come here and have objective, you know, reasoning. You get me? Now back to Lego. I actually saw this one on Insta blog, Ninja. So he went on his Snapchat to say, don't act like you like me, then talk shit about me behind my back. That she will come back to me. 
you don't need to put me down to rise up when will you guys understand that that's not how life works god know they ever dim my light for yours to shine sha. this thing is all god so if you think it's by bad mountain god will show you 100 percent i didn't get here by myself i got god behind me now why god go they always so okay chill all this pitching yo man hell I'm, I'm trying to keep up now why god go they always expose all of you do good and that's what will come back to you in the end now the same way them go package all of us dumb for six feet oh look how we continue to win i will continue to evolve i will continue to conquer and break records i'll continue to change my life and other people's lives positively god day with me and my icons day with me you get me you know i mean i've never understood why you don't like somebody and you're still hanging out with the person i don't understand this like you are just killing yourself because if you're hanging out around somebody that you don't like you're not happy every time you see the person the anger is even do you get me like why are you even in that person's space if me i do like if you and i have bad blood like i see that okay it's not moving i'm not feeling you, you're not feeling me oh god i'm giving you space the people that I meet that I'm just like, man, I are not vibing. And I give you space. Like, that must be some kind of witchcraft kind of pee, man. Like, why? Like, it, it makes no sense to me. Like, even if maybe the person has... And, and see, I understand... See, really, listen here. Yeah? I understand this whole Lekor pee because... You know that Lekor was just a random um, upcoming musician that was trying to blow. Then he goes to one BB Ninja show. And in three months, his life changed totally. Suddenly, he has 3.8, I'll be 3.9 million people following him, supporting him, pushing his music. He's being featured now on Grammys. It's easy for you to be around such person, especially if you were with him while he was just starting. Especially even if two of you were starting together and you were kind of going up ahead of him and then boom, Bibi Ninja, boom, he has blown. I understand that jealousy might come, like, come to play, but help yourself leave pray to god that's the best way to cure jealousy ask god that god i feel je i'm jealous about this person and let's not act like we are saints we've all had one or two experiences where, where we felt jealousy towards somebody ask god to cleanse your heart it's better i believe that if you're hanging out with someone like that like you will get more if you're cool with him and you're transparent and if he's not giving you maybe he's treating you anyhow leave there's not only one person that, that can help you in life your helper is your helper do you get me if it's not your helper it's not your helper but like i don't i, I mean i don't get why you're my friend and you're trying to still diss me bruh i will not diss you for my friend though people that know me know me like i don't even have that energy i literally would tell you to your face and if you're not take it I've told you, Sha, that's literally how I am. Yeah, man, but what's your opinion, though? How, like, can you understand this whole friend in me? Friend in me! Oh, God forbid. We pray against them. We chase them away. We put ourselves, blood of Jesus, fire of Holy Ghost. No friend in me. You get me? That's a hammer. And you pray, oh, because friend in me is that, like, imagine, you would think you guys are good, but the guy is dissing you. Like, how wicked and ugly can that experience be? Ew. Ew. Anyways, yeah, man, that's all for today. It's just, I love you guys so much. Oh, guys, listen. Ah, uh -uh, now what's up with you? My vlog channel. <laughs> I went to a social light party, a wedding in Abuja. See, Abuja people can spend moolah. Don't even joke. Don't even joke with them. Go down and click the link. Oh my God, I didn't even put the link in my other video. Oh me, how bad? I. After shooting this video now, I'll go and put the link in that video, and I'll also put the link in this video yeah go there and watch it and also i have a podcast it's called pennywise it's about the bible oh gosh guys eh? god is sharing a lot of things if your if your life is not moving forward literally like literally if you're stuck in life eh just check pennywise on any podcast platform i promise you if you listen to one one podcast eh, you like you you will come back for more i know because like even me when i record the, when i record this and i edit this I'm amazed. I'm learning. Even when I'm re like editing it, it's amazing. Pennywise will just help you see clearer, give you a better path, give you wisdom, show you God's promises. Like God has given us a lot of promises in His book that we're never aware of, and God is. He said, oh me, share, share what I'm sharing with you to the world. And literally what I'm doing on every podcast platform you know. 
I did one on the five secrets on how to overcome any challenge, any hook, any stronghold in your life. I promise you, eh? Oh, you want to listen to that one? So, we're on all podcast platforms Apple Podcast, Google Cast, Overcast, SoundCloud, Pennywise. Just type Pennywise there, you literally see us there. And we're also on YouTube. Ah, and I'm showing my face this time around, so it's really interesting. I'll put the link to my YouTube channel for Pennywise down below, my darling. We're also on Instagram as well. We're everywhere. Like, I want to, bruh, I want your life to be better, big. Ah, um, we, have, we have, see, we have struggled for too long. We have, you have, no need to be, just plug it on your ear. That's all you need to do. Podcast is, if you don't have data, podcast is better. It's just audio. If you can, if you need physical, get me. YouTube, I'll put the link there. Listen, let your life be better, yeah? I love you so much. Thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.